Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain study the effect of open and short circuit. For this experiment, we need RPS 0 to 30 volt, DK resistance box, 2 volt meter range from 0 to 30 volts, ammeter 0 to 1 amps, and one switch. Now see the circuit clearly from RPS to switch switch another end is connected to emitter emitter positive emitter negative is connected to load means DRB DRB is another end is connected to RPS negative so here the resistance means DRB set to 100 ohms so we need 100 ohms here it is <coughs> so see here we need 100 ohms only you can set it here also or multiplication means if you set it to 1 means into 100 1 into 100 means 100 ohms otherwise 10 into 10 means 100 ohms so you can set here also so now it's 100 ohms now for open circuit see the circuit clearly from rps positive to switch first end means rps positive see here positive switch rps positive to switch Another end of this switch is connected to emitter positive. Means another end of this switch is connected to emitter. Emitter is here. So emitter. Then emitter negative is connected to load. Means DRB. Emitter another end means here. See here we need only one amps. So we can connect to one amps. So it's connected to DR first end. Then from another end to negative of the supply means RPS. From DRB another end to RPS negative. So now we need voltmeters V1 means it's already here so we can read here only so no need extra voltmeters so we need only for this only one for load and another one for switch so voltmeter always connected in a parallel one for load means First end of the voltmeter. Another end of the voltmeter is connected to DRB. Another end. Now for switch. First end of this switch is connected to voltmeter first end. Another end of this switch is connected to negative of the voltmeter. So circuit is completed. Now before switching on the supply, make sure the voltage knob should be zero position and current position in maximum now switch on the supply now switch is close position means short circuited so we need to open it for open circuit test so switch is open 
now vary the voltage to 5 volts the supply voltage 5 volts now note down the readings this one is circuit V1 means supply voltage means RPS see here this one is V1 V2 means a cross switch means a cross switch means this voltmeter this one is V2 and V3 means a cross load so this one is V3 and ammeter so now we need to check the readings see here V1 is 5 volts note down in tabular column V1 is 5 and V2 is see here from 0 to 10 volts 10 divisions are there so each division will be 1 volts so it's in 1 2 3 4 5 so means 5 volts V2 is 5 volts V3 is 0 means it's open circuit so V3 is 0 and current is also 0 see here current is also 0 now vary the voltage to 10, 10 volts V1 is 10, V3 is 0, emitter 0, and V2 is also 10 volts across switch. So V1 10, V2 also 10, V3 is 0, and current is 0. So same procedure repeated for 15 volts and 20 volts and note on the readings after not after taking the readings just reduce the voltage to zero and switch off the circuit for short circuit test circuit is same as it is open circuit just we need to close the switch that's all so we need to close the switch Before switching on the supply, the voltage should be zero position and current is maximum. Then switch on the supply. After that, just vary the voltage to 5 volts. It's in 5 volts. Then note on the readings. This one is V1. V2 means across switch. P3 means across load means DRB and ammeter. So now note on the readings V1 is 5 volts, V2 is 0, V3 is it's 10 divisions means 10 volts. So each division will be 1 volts. So it's in fifth position. So it's 5 volts. V3 is 5 volts V1 means supply voltage so 5 volts V2 is 0 across switch V3 is 5 means across load and current current is see here from 0 to 0 0.25 10 divisions are there so we need to check here only we are connected to 1 amps see here 1 amps so we need to check upper scale so each division will be 10 divisions means 0.25 and each division will be 0 0.025 it's in second point second line so means 0 0.025 into 2 means 0 0.05 so i is 0 0.05 amps then 
increase the voltage to 10 now v1 is 10 v2 is 0 across switch is 0 and v3 also 10 v1 means supply voltage 10 v2 is 0 and v3 also 10 and current is see here 1 2 3 4 means 0 0.025 into sorry uh, 0 0.025 into 4 means 0 0.10 0 0.10 amps so same way repeat the procedure for 15 volts and 20 volt and note down the readings after that reduce the voltage to zero then switch off the supply remove the circuit